Let's move on because you might remember before the election that the Labor government went on a media blitz spruiking its plan to drive energy prices down by $275. Well, if you thought that promise was too good to be true, you were right to be sceptical. As our political editor Andrew Clannell revealed last week, power prices are going in the wrong direction and could rise by as much as 50% next year alone. Treasurer Jim Chalmers' budget also reflected a massive increase. So what happened when Chalmers was asked to this, ask this at the National Press Club? Jim Chalmers has been forced to backtrack on an answer to a question about the budget. The Treasurer was asked about Labor's promise to slash power bills by $275 at the National Press Club. Mr Chalmers gave a short response confirming the government is fulfilling their pre-election pledge. That's right, Nine's new political editor, Charles Croucher, had a big win, prompting the gaffe which Chalmers said he simply misheard. But we think that excuse is a bit of a stretch. Have a listen to how clear the question was and how clear Chalmers' response was. Should Australians still expect that $275 off their power bills, particularly off pre-election prices? Yep, it's in the budget. I misheard the question. <laughs> At the National Press Club. I thought you were asking me a different question. I misheard it uh, and I answered a different question. Well, Labor is finding out that they are no longer in opposition and now they must be accountable for their media spin. Joe, um, it wasn't the worst of gaffes, um, but power prices are yeah. going to be this very emotional yep. issue. If you're going to make big promises to the media, yep. you're going to get the credit um, before an election, you've actually got to follow through. And, and to me, I don't think it's good enough to say, oh, well, I misheard when it's such a critical question. Yeah, it was, I think, a pretty uncharacteristic stuff-up, I have to say. The I agree with The that. government's been yep. going pretty well and Chalmers is a pretty smooth operator. Um, there's a golden rule in politics that you, all, you only answer the question that you want to answer, not yes. the question you were actually <laughs> asked. And it seems to be a classic example of that. He was expecting something else. He had his definitive answer ready to go and it just didn't match up. And then the weird thing is later he says, oh, I thought they were asking a different question. I don't think he actually spelt out what question he thought he was being asked. But, um, uh, and, and, and again, it's a weird thing to say, yep, it's in the budget, because why would... Uh, modelling of a 25, 275 discount in 2025, would you just have a little chapter on that in the budget? It just seems a strange thing. And I, I went looking for it in the budget and sure enough, it wasn't there. Um, so it, it was a weird thing to do. And I think... Um, I don't understand... I still don't even know what Labor's position on, on this is because people are saying, well, he's backflipped, there's no way it's going to get there. But Anthony Albanese has said, no, we still believe in the modelling, we still think it's there. It's obviously not 2025 yet, so, so a lot can happen. And I think that's how I interpreted but, the question. I interpreted that they're still confident in 2030 that yeah. they're going to achieve it and he got muddled by, by this budget. That's right, but it's like with the Stage 3 tax cuts, I don't understand why they're losing so much skin over this. I don't understand why there isn't a clear... I mean, at the moment right now, you could pick up two different media articles and on one, they're still committed to it 100% and on another, they've completely backflipped and forgotten about it and there doesn't seem to be clarity over what the actual position is and this is the second time it's happened. The Stage 3 tax mm. cuts was another example. I don't understand why their messaging isn't clear as day on this because any message is better than no message at all. Yeah, Carolyn, that, that's a good point. Um, you know, as I said before, energy prices uh, going up by 50%, it's going to cause people a lot of pain, a lot of pain, and, and for them not to have their media messaging intact and comprehensive, as Joe puts it, um, that's a problem for Labor. Yeah, it is. And, and Joe, Joe does make a really good point because when you aren't clear on things like that, it just makes people suspicious. Just be clear one way or the other and then people can understand what the actual position is. You know, before the election, Labor were clear. Labor were clear that um, electricity prices were going to go down, that real wages uh, were going to go up and that there, would, there was going to be cost of living relief. We've now got to the budget and wages are going down electricity prices are going up and no one can see anything that's in the budget for them, rightly or wrongly, that assists with um, that assists with costs of living. Now, uh, Anthony Albanese came out yesterday and said, oh, look, we're looking to intervene in the, uh, the gas market, we're looking to intervene in the electricity market to try and put a cap on prices. But, but can you tell us what we're actually going to do and what's it going to cost? And if it's not in the budget, well, then who's bearing the brunt of that? And, and we haven't... There's nothing.
this is we have not gotten into a better position your labor hasn't gotten into a better position yet mm. in relation to energy prices they keep going around in circles they're unclear they're unclear they're ambiguous and i don't think australia's really in the mood for it